so we're looking for players to unload. We are sitting here in the league table. We are six points off Salzburg, but two ahead of Rapid Vienna. We're not playing Austria Vienna. We're playing Rapid Vienna. Sorry. And we have Rapid Vienna today. It's the first thing we're doing on the stream right here. Lay eyes hurt. Dang it. All right. So it's a Sencio, and I wouldn't dare play Freddy Salazar in a match. I actually, I actually believe we need a good right wing to win. Would I? Would I dare play Igor Vidic in that match because he has just great burst? I would. I would dare play Igor Vidic because he has great burst. Hey, YouTube. How you doing? Are you, does YouTube think we're going to win this game? Hello, YouTube. Hi. Hello. YouTube, welcome to the stream. Paco with a 10 gifted subs from Paco over the top at the Fox Plus. Here we go. Here we go, baby. Ortiz. Anderson. Custodio. Vintage playing. It's Ian. Ian Ortiz. It's Vainama. And it's a Florence Stormer lead. Oh, yeah. That's exactly what Vainam is there to do. Make those runs, end up on the end of the ball, knock it into the back of the net like a champ. It's the switch to the right back. Oh, I didn't see that coming. It's all right, Blackman's there. Yeah, we closed that down. We closed that down. Good hustle. Good hustle by Javi Vasquez over there. Ooh, Raul. Raul? Oh, Raul! Raul! He's back! Javi, that's okay. Oh, yes. Vainima, look wide. Look wide. Like they can hear me. Of course they can. What am I talking about? There we go. His, his pace just makes a difference in games. Yes. He's back. He's playing a good match. My Hit it. wife and I always fight over the right way to hang the toilet paper roll. So our therapist suggested we try the other person's way for a week. You know, roll reversal. I mean, I can make whole videos about ways to match up against big teams. It really kind of depends on what you do as your normal tactic and how you want to adjust it. Hey, hey, ref, hey, hey, ref, hey, ref, hey, ref. What is this, WWE? Okay, come on. Can't just tackle people. Number three team in the league. How you doing? Welcome to the Fox Plots. Three nothing. The Battenberg, uh, what I do is, you know, I bring both of my lines back one. I don't change the core of the way that we play. Oh, goodness. I don't change the core of the way that we play, but I, de you know, I bring mentality back to, to balance. I bring the lines back one. Uh, I definitely look to get more talented defensive. Oh, that's a goal. Why did he not shoot that? I'm pretty sure the goal was just open. Outstanding match. Yeah, baby. Well, honestly, we haven't outplayed a team like that in a while. We played the worst team in the league and we didn't play that well. We just show up at home against the third best team in the league, Rapid Vienna, and we just wiped them out. Huge result. We produced some big moments that mattered most, and when you can do that, you always have a chance. Yeah, everyone's playing well, given 100%. We deserve to win the match. Absolutely, and uh, there we are. Salzburg lost, which means we go into the winter break three points off the top of the league. Oh, 
I'm not saying. I'm just saying, right? I'm not saying. I'm just saying. We're not talking about European qualifying. We're talking about Champions League qualifying. That's what we're talking about right now. All right, as for the offers out to try and make the transfer business deals uh, that we that we want to make, David Bumberger for 170000 to Paul Gonsheshin is in. Puchiger with a $5,000 offer to FC Thune that we're going to accept because we would let him go at the end of the season. So that'd be two sales. Puchiger would hurt. Bumberger would hurt. Uh, we like both of those guys, but Bumberger wants a bigger new contract. He wants to be an important player next season. We can't give that to him. And Puchiger, he, he's, we finally developed, I think, a way from his level, despite the fact that he contributed as a starting player for us, even all the way through last season. Sherne Borsma. Who is... Huh. Patrick Puchiger, and uh, a moment, ladies and gentlemen, for one of the original players of the Fox Plots. A guy that gave, gave his absolute all in the promotion campaign. Such an incredibly consistent player. It was a regular feature in the team last season that nearly you know, got us one match away from getting into Europe. But it is, uh, it's time for him to move on. He just doesn't, he doesn't meet the standard that we're playing at currently trying to compete for a league title. The Patrick Puchiger will always be remembered fondly as a member of, of the Floridsdorf's finest. Floridsdorfers which actually means people from Florence Dorf. I'm learning. Up the Dorfers. Thank you, Patrick. David, on the other hand, why, David? David clearly is full of ambition and believes that he should be a regular first team player making a ton of money wherever he goes and that's causing problems in Poland as well. But Patrick Pucci has done a deal that'll go through on January 1st. He is, he is off. All right, Prisikene on the move to SV Horn for 30,000. See you later. Uh, we'll miss having a club favorite around. Yeah. Jerry and Bakogu for what a, a fee that will rise to 738,000 from Blavis Linz. He is on the move. And that is, uh, it's sad, it's unfortunate. But he is, you know, we, we didn't give him his due, but now that he's headed out of the club, we should. Uh, this is a guy that for, for two seasons was a very heavily relied upon forward. 12 goals, 5 assists in our promotion season. Averaged almost a 7.0 in our first year in the top flight. Jerry and Bakogu, thank you for your service. Thank you for being a great part of this team. And uh, we, will, we will miss your mercurial splendor. His up and down nature, his explosiveness. And I hope he has a great twilight of his career. Oh, Vanderhorst is already here in the staff meeting. Well, I guess we got to acknowledge the fact that yes, indeed. Oh, and Vanderhorst is here. Intensive language course and Ian Ortiz to welcome him. Put an arm around him. Hey, Ian, I want you to welcome our new promising attacking midfielder who is actually a star player for us from the moment he touches the field. Owen oh, Vanderhorst. He even looks Like a great player, like a baller. He's unflappable, he's resilient, he's tough as nails, professional, creative, stupendously technical. Ian and Owen doing TikTok dances together, seriously. What's his second nationality? Dutch, but he was born in Downington, PA because Pennsylvania apparently produces the best players. How much did he cost? He was free. This is what you get for scouting the U-20 World Cup, as we did. That's where, like, half of our team has come from. Just tremendous business. Instantly worth 4.3 to 7.4 million dollars. Instantly. God, that's great. Radovich got his work permit. Cool. We are paying a bit of Slavija's wage, but we are moving him on. Honestly, he was a decent servant of the club. 45000 into the bank from Hartsburg. We're covering... 30% of his wage, 33% of his wage, about 35% of his wage. Then the number's gonna stop going up there. That's the wage that we're covering. So Slavija Radovic deal done, 100,000 in wage budget cleared. We're waiting for Conte, we're waiting for Bumberger. Kareem, holy smokes, Kareem. Holy dude, Kareem, what? 
You're not playing. Go somewhere and play like Bumburger. Boom, he accepted the deal. And I believe this is somebody that deserves an applause because we would not be where we are without David Bumberger being a darn good center back at the top level for two seasons. And we had to move on from him because we weren't going to be able to give him a new contract. But David Bumberger is a big reason we are where we are right now. And I really appreciate his contributions, especially after his career started with a couple of months of averaging a 6.5. He really turned into a to a dynamite player. He's headed to the Belgian top league, and I think he's going to have a nice long career as a top league center back. Making some moves. Okay. And to the squad, to Mateus Nascimento. To a contract offer. Star player. Intensive language course. Yes. Yes. 172. 172. Come on. 172. 172. Bada bing, bada boom. You know? You know? Get in, Mateus. 19-year-old Brazilian. I Look, the, the release clause is hard-coded, but we could do a lot with that money if we ended up getting it. So it's not like I'm sitting here freaking out that that's the release clause he's gone for. All right. A little shirtless management, and now we wait. Pure waiting game. Pure waiting game. I think we, I, I think we do have a chance. Um, I think over most of these teams that are offering him we do have a chance stoke city's got some pretty big draw though chapa cleanse i mean it depends does he want to leave or not it's on his adaptability like does he want to leave brazil because that's where he was playing at botafogo and he played some uh what we're gonna do in the meantime is just show up with a lot more money because we believe this guy is obviously an important part of the future of our club and so we want to compete with any we want to compete with any contracts that have been offered from other teams and so we're just going to come in with a lot of money and see if we can make that work yeah there's not there's not a lot else we could have done we did what we we did what we could we did what we could uh and now we're up in the offer this is a situation where I would, if it was just real life, I would literally go to the guy and be like, look, how much money are they offering you? And if we can match it, would you want to come here? All right. Like, I, 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 let me look around. Let me look around. Is there, is there a way for me to do that? Right. Okay. Uh, we have the ask agent. Um, Run a salary for 466, 593. Getting maybe a chance of maybe getting some playing time. Would expect to be a star player. Uh, thanks to feedback. All right, so we got to up it. He wants more. We have the ability to pay it. We can go all the way up to 451, and then we can do uh, salary after reaching club league games and elevate it to five. Ooh. <laughs> Elevate him to 496. I mean, we can elevate even more after club league matches. He's worth it. He's worth it. You know he's worth it. You know he's worth it. Okay. I'll add another year and I'll throw it up to 520. be the highest paid player on the team but he look he is outstanding i know you can't see his attributes if you weren't here when we found the guy but he is outstanding maybe he's worth it maybe he's maybelline fair enough and also your your classic relegation release clause of zero uh upping the agent fee never hurt anybody right upping the signing on fee never hurt anybody we're investing fairly heavily in this guy. All right, look, that is the best deal I can put on the table. So we are going to live with no regrets if he happens to fritter away somewhere else. But you know what? I've got faith. Starting to brighten up on our scouting reports here. Ramens. 
I think he's good enough that we want to chase him. Shishkin, nobody interested. Oh, four-year deal. Nice. Loki need a backup left back, and uh, all of a sudden we're considering Luka Petrovic for that backup left back role. Breakthrough prospect. He only. Oh, dude. Money in the bank. The value on this kid's going to be nuts. I'm changing my mouse. Where's my other mouse? I'm changing my mouse. That was it. The mouse accidentally double clicked and made me, damn it. The mouse accidentally double clicked and made me lock that. That's why, he, that's why he turned it down. I did not mean to lock that and I didn't notice it until it was too late. I'm put, I'm put my new mouse in. Okay. New mouse, new me. All right. Oh, we got to turn the... There we go. It's a little bit of an interesting feel. Okay. Got the right sensitivity. Okay. What else do we want to do today? Now that I'm not going to accidentally double click. We're fine. I'm fine. You're fine. We're fine. Five minutes later. So now we can negotiate again. Oh, that's stupid. Oh, now that is just dumb. But in this case, fair. I was assassinated by a double click. So let's not lock. <clears throat> hey, we got Pablo Rodriguez. So that we can get an understanding of the fact that this guy is a significant improvement in areas of great import to the forward line over Nick Venema. I am procrastinating. Thanks for asking. Yep, we're signing him. We're signing him. He's a really significant improvement. He really is. He's better at everything. It's 75,000 on a buy now. Boo. Next we got Petrovic for cheap. Luka Petrovic is in. Man, a lot of our end of contract guys. I suppose it's because our end of contract guys are better. No, God's power. What did they run it? Why? Why did I get stuck in this universe? Why can't I be in the one where they at least get different injuries? See, he who turned awkwardly, he twisted sharply. So supposedly, you know, maybe they stepped in a different ditch. You know, I understand not being happy with that. But at the same time, we just needed another guy that could play center back that wasn't an actual prob like an actual problem I mean, he can play center back he's not great at it but he is athletic and he's not terrible and that's all we needed we needed one more body for free that was athletic and not terrible <laughs> 